my inky friends. It's Cindy Lynn with my inky fingers. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel and blog. If you're new here, welcome. Today, I want to talk about cleaning stamps, the importance of cleaning stamps, more importantly, the importance of cleaning stamps the right way and not the wrong way. But also want to show you about the longevity of your stamps. And I have some stamps I'm going to show you that I have had since Adam was a cowboy. So one of the most important things is there is a variety of cleaners with Stampin' Up. We have got a scrubby, or excuse me, we have got a Simply Chamois. We have got the scrubby. We've got Stays On Cleaner. We've got Stampin' Mist. What are all of these for? I'm going to explain that. I'm going to move my baby wipes out of the way because those are something you don't want to use, and I'm going to show you why. But let's talk about the first thing, okay? The first thing I've got here is my Simply Chamois. Now, this is a one-time investment. I have been using this for quite some time. I have cut this one up so that I have a few extra little little pieces so I can wipe stuff on my Stamparatus board, or I've got my big one for my bigger stamps, okay? Now, what I do with these is I keep them in this CD case. I will link them for you down below. They're the exact same as our stamps come in, but mine never gets stinky. They never get smelly. They are, I hope I don't have ink on my nose now because I don't know that they're clean, but I take them to my bathroom sink and I wash them out with Dawn dish soap whenever they get dry. And this one's getting a little dry on the corner, but keeping them in this stamp case, I mean, it is unbelievable. These will stay dry for weeks. Like, I'm not gonna say this is airtight, but it's got a really good seal on it, right? So I find that if I leave it open for a long time, they will get dry and then I can just clean them and they're nice and soft again. But I do use Dawn dish soap. And the reason I use Dawn dish soap is because You've seen the commercials. They wash baby ducks with Dawn dish soap. So I trust Dawn dish soap. It's the only dish soap in our home. So I know that when these are really saturated after I first clean them, that's, the residue is probably going to transfer to my stamps and I'm not worried about it drying them out. Your stamps can dry out. And if you have stamps that you've had for a long, 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 long time outside of Stampin' Up, inside of Stampin' Up, whatever the case may be, and they've got all dry and crusty, let me know and let everybody else know because that's what happens when you don't take care of your stamps. So this, when do I use this? I use this on an everyday basis, just every day for my everyday stamps that aren't super dirty. Okay, now, when I have a stamp that I've used red or a really intense color and I find that it's kind of looking yucky on my stamp, I'll pull out my Stampin' Mist, I'll spray my stamp. This is an old bottle. The new bottles have this label on them, so you may have one with this label. Same thing, no difference. This is a refill, but I'll spray the stamp and then I'll I'll scrub it on here. Let me show you an example. We're going to use this guy today from the Back on Your Feet stamp set. So if I ink this up with just plain black, and then of course, this is scratch paper by the way, but I'm going to stamp my image, and now I'm left with a dirty stamp. I can just wiggle this in here, and I always go for the middle as you can see, but wiggling it in there leaves it quite nice and clean. However, sometimes you might use your VersaFine, which is a little bit more of an intense black. Not one that Stampin' Up! carries, but I do love VersaFine. And you gotta be careful because you can't use VersaFine for certain things. But you can see this is much, much more dirty than the tuxedo was. So I'm gonna rub this off on here. And what I notice is it kind of gets a little bit in the crevices. So when this happens or the red, this is where I pull out my Stampin' Mist. Now, this is what I want you to know. The Stampin' Mist, it actually says right on the bottle, use Stampin' Mist to clean and condition your stamps. I mean, we don't wash our hair and not condition it. Let's not wash our stamps and not condition them. Conditioning them is so vitally important, and I think a lot of people miss that. That's what keeps your stamps conditioned so they don't dry out and get yucky over the years so i'm going to go back in and this is already dirty i haven't cleaned it at all i probably should have but i didn't and now i've got a little bit of soap suds there but as you can see it is much more clean now that's what i use my stamp and mist for sometimes i might be using my scrubby 
Now, I have to say, this stuff smells so good. This reminds me of crafting. I don't know, chime in if you're like me. Certain scents take me back somewhere, and this smell just takes me right into my creative mode. I love the smell of it. But, so, there is a scrubby, okay? Now, the scrubby doesn't, it does replace the chamois. It can clean exactly like I just showed you with the chamois, but it, it goes up a notch, okay? And it has a little bit of extra something, something that the chamois doesn't give you. And what that is, is when you're using craft ink, okay, this is an example. When you're using craft ink, what I find is my stamp gets like, really really saturated right now I'm going to stamp this off just because I normally would have if I was stamping we won't see it on there but now this craft ink what I find if I go to my chamois I'm going to flip it over I find that it doesn't take off all of my craft ink like you see it all here in all these little crevices and whatnot that's when I pull out my chamois so the First thing I do when I pull up my chamois is I grab my spray. You can spray the whole chamois, but that's kind of a waste. So I just spray the stamp itself, bring it into my chamois, or excuse me, my my scrubby. Words are hard. My scrubby. Okay, and I'm going to clean that up. And now I got a little bit of soap there, but as you can see, it came out beautifully. I sometimes go and just dry it off on the other side. So that, you know, there's no front or back or right or wrong, but that's when I use the scrubby, when there's a really intense ink on there. Another reason why I would use my scrubby is because I've used stays on. Now, if you have stamps that are stained black, that's probably because you've used stays on. Stays on is kind of like it says, because it just, it stays on, but you really want it for certain types of projects. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna stamp it here, okay? Now it's very, very dirty. Now I do something different here. I bring out my stays on cleaner, okay? My particular one has a little um, bingo dauber on the top. I just ran and checked and it's no different than the one on the website. The only difference is the label and I have probably about four bottles of this. I've had it for years so I'm not ready to buy any new but it's got that nice little nice little bingo dauber on it and all I do is I go in and I rub my stamp okay just rub it all up and now it looks like a hot mess but when I bring it into my scrubby and just kind of scrub that that liquid off of there I'm left with a perfectly clean stamp. If you have a chamois and you ink up with stays on and then you stamp that off and do the exact same thing, bring in your bingo dauber of stays on and then come into your chamois. Now I went right over top of that craft ink. I won't be surprised if I pick some of that up because I really shouldn't use my chamois for the craft ink but I didn't pick any up, which is nice. I'm gonna turn it over just for just so that I don't get any. But now I've got a little bit of suds in there because it's sudsy when you kind of squish it around. So this one here, I would say, you know, cleaned it r fairly well, but in, in between his legs, I can see a little bit of residue in there. So I'm not even gonna put any extra cleaner. I'm just gonna go right into my scrubby and it just takes all that residue right out of there. So that's why you want to use the that's when you want to use your scrubby so now let's talk about baby wipes on stamps now I know a lot of people use baby wipes a lot of people say they have a face cloth you know and they wipe it off on a face cloth or those um these chamois cloths or whatnot I sometimes I get lazy and I pull out my chamois and I kind of and I shouldn't and I'm going to tell you why Number one, none of those have your um, Stampin' Mist. If you've got a Stampin' Mist and you're using a face cloth, all the power to you. But what I find is I pick up a lot of those little lint balls and the face cloth sitting out like that is collecting everything from the air and that's transferring onto my stamp. And even with the baby wipes, I've gone and cleaned, you know, rubbing them off, rubbing them off. And there's a perfect example. This one's really big. It's very dramatic. But 
what happens is little ones of these little hairs or little fuzz balls out of the baby wipe, small ones will end up on my stamp and then they dry there because I put my stamp away. And then the next time I bring it out, I don't notice that on there. Like I said, this one's really dramatic. It's really big, but I'll go to stamp. And what happens is now that little piece of lint got saturated with the ink and it stays on the image when I pull it up and then I pull that off and then all of a sudden I'm missing part of my image because there was lint on it. So baby wipes are not great to clean your stamps with. Um, they don't have conditioner in them. So that's my opinion about baby wipes. If you use them, I don't judge. I'm just letting you know why I don't use them. Now, what I also want to show you guys is this stamp set. I can't even tell you how old this is. Um, what was it called? Curvy Versus. We're, we're going back a ways here. I tried to find a stamp set that I had used a lot and I could see that I've used it a lot and I can see I wasn't like very good on my cleaning back then. But what I wanted to show you is when I press this stamp, it's got nice cushion. The rubber is nice and soft. And you guys know what I mean about those dry, cracked rubber, you know, the old rubber that's, you know, no good anymore. And now when I bring this out, I mean, I can tell this is older. I'm not going to pretend that it feels the exact same as this, but I am going to tell you that this is nice and soft. It won't crack. Like I can give it some pressure and I could probably pull this right off of here actually because the adhesive is so old, but I can bend this and manipulate it and it's not going to crack. Okay. And the reason it's not going to crack is because I have always, always, always believed in the Stampin' Mist and I have always used it. And I don't believe it's changed from the beginning of when I was introduced to Stampin' Up! back in 2005, 2004, because the smell is the exact same. So the next thing I wanna show you guys, I see a lot of people talking about this when your stamps just kinda of like, you know, slide around and fly around here and they don't stick anymore. I'm gonna show you right now how to fix that. Now. You're probably going to ask me, Cindy Lynn, why does your stamps look like that when you're preaching about using cleaners? Because this set I used at a few classes and unfortunately not everybody is as diligent as I am and at the end of a class you've got everything you're putting away and one thing led to another and they didn't get cleaned. And if you don't clean them properly right away, this is what happens. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my tough bad boy. Okay. And I'm going to bring in my stays on cleaner. I want to clean this guy up a little, see how much I can get off of here. And then I'm going to put him on the scrubby and just kind of rub him around here. And I'm shaking the camera. I apologize, but I just want to get any gunk and stuff off of him. Now I'm going to take these two little target. I'm going to target these two stamps because they're the ones that don't want to stick in there very well. And I'm going to bring my sink to you, bring in my Dawn dish soap a little on each side. And I'm just going to gently rub all of the Dawn dish soap into here before I put it in the water. Okay. I just want to rub it all on. And then this one as well. I probably have enough Dawn on my hands, but I'm going to add a little bit more and then I'm going to put them in here. Okay. And now I'm just going to kind of massage them a little bit more. I don't want to use any abrasive um, scrubber or sponge, you know, the hard side, the scrubby side of a sponge or anything like that. I just want to get any of the gunk and stuff off of here that it's picked up that's preventing it from sticking in my stamp case. Okay. So I'm going to keep rinsing them and rubbing them until I can feel that they're not super, I'm going to say slimy. It's not slime. It just feels like the consistency of the Dawn dish soap. So I'm going to rub them in the water until I can feel that that is no longer there. So that one is no longer there. I'm going to put it to the side. This one's still slippery is a really good word. Actually, I'm going to keep doing this until it's not slippery and cleaning my hands at the same time. I want the Dawn dish soap off my hands because that's going to continue to transfer the Dawn and make it more slippery, right? So that one's good now. So let's put that to the side. Now, the next step is I think where everybody goes wrong because now I think what most people are doing is they're bringing in their chamois or their baby wipes or something because naturally you think you want to dry this off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them upside down so the image is facing down and I'm going to let them 
air dry. I do not want to put anything on there. I don't want any lint. I don't want any residue. I just cleaned those so they're nice and fresh and now I want them to stick in my stamp case. So I'm just going to put them like this and put them to the side until they're dry. Okay, now these are nice and air dried. So I'm just going to stick them right back down into my case and ta-da! they are going to stick no problem. So the key is to clean them nice, give them a nice massage bath, and let them air dry upside down here, okay? And then they'll stick very nicely back in your stamp cases. So I know one of the questions everybody's gonna ask me down in the comments is, what about red? So I'm gonna tell you about red. I'm gonna use real red. It's our reddest of reds. It's the most realest red I've ever used. And actually, I'm just gonna come in like this. And now I'm gonna stamp that off. And now I've got obviously red all over my ink on my block, but that's okay. It'll still work the same next time I go to use it. So I'm gonna pull out my both of these, okay? So I'm gonna pull out the scrubby and I'm gonna pull out my chamois. So the first thing I always do when I get red is I pull out my stays on cleaner because my stays on cleaner is the strongest I've got there, right? And now I don't know that stays on cleaner has a um, conditioner in it. So if I use stays on cleaner like a lot, then I make sure I go in afterward and I spray it with my Stampin' Mist and then I finish my condition off on my on my my simply chamois <laughs> words are hard you think I can remember the names of these okay so there I don't know if you can see but I got that pretty dang clean so I'm going to show you one more time just so you know that this wasn't some kind of magic trick but the key there's my my ink okay and I'm going to stamp it off there we go now I'm going to bring in that stays on cleaner and I'm just going to Put, I'm applying a decent amount of pressure and I'm just kind of, you know, pushing that down just to give it a good like zhuzh in there if I can steal one of Laura Basson's words. And then I'm going to scrub that all off and I'm going to come in with my spray, my Stampin' Scrub or Stampin' Mist, excuse me. And that sound <laughs> sounds like I'm washing windows, right? But there you go. So you can see it's not left super, super red. The key is to not let it sit for a really long time. Use your scrubby with your stays on, give it a good scrub, get all of that off of there, and then finish it off with your conditioner, Stampin' Mist, and your Simply Chamois. So I wanna know down in the comments below if you have some little tips and tricks to share. And I also wanna know if there's something you learned today that you didn't know. So hopefully you got something from this video. And until I see you guys again, take care and happy stamping.